In light of current events that have been taking place recently, there's a story I wanted to share with you, a true story. And it has to do with a friend of mine who's a medical doctor, he's a psychiatrist, and his name is uh, Dr. Claude Curran. I got to know Dr. Claude Curran when I was at a Lady of Mount Carmel in Bristol, Rhode Island in my first assignment. So one day, about 17 years ago, when I was at my first assignment in Bristol, I was talking to him about going to Rome. I told him I was going to be visiting Rome. And he said to me, Father, listen, I really want you to do something when you're in Rome. I want you to get on a train and I want you to go up to Loretto. There's a guy who's there, his name is Tom Zimmer. I want you to meet Tom Zimmer. Now, Tom Zimmer is a man who uh, is, he's not a priest, he's not a religious, he's not a brother, but he, very fascinating man, I wanted to meet him. So, I do as Dr. Curran said, I, I got on a train, I went up to Loretto, beautiful scenic ride on the way up, it's along the Adriatic side of Italy. I went up to the house, I said a prayer, and uh, then I looked for Tom. And I remember it saying to Dr. Curran, how am I gonna find him? I'm just gonna go to Loretto. He said, believe me, walk around and you'll find him. Sure enough, there was an elderly man who was very frail, very thin, who was leaning up against the fence that surrounds the house. And I went up to him and in English, I said to him, are you Thomas? And he looked up at me and he said, yes, I am, in English. So I said to him, I'm Dr. Claude Curran's friend. He, we, he's our mutual friend. And he looked and he said, yes, I know him very well. Have a seat. So I was in my collar, you know, and, I, and he was sitting on the floor. So I sat on the floor and I sat next to him. So as I was sitting next to him, he was a be really beautiful man, very, very holy. He was, he was teaching me a lot of beautiful things. Um, actually, he is the creator of the book called The Pieta. It's a beautiful, it's the blue book, the blue prayer book that has um, the, the picture of the Pieta and, and on the cover, and it, it has all beautiful prayers in it. It's called the Pieta. I strongly recommend you get that book. Um, and he, it sold over 10 million copies, this book that he authored. So years later, uh, only a few weeks ago, I'm talking to Dr. Curran, and he says to me, you know, Father, remember that guy Tom Zimmer that I told you to, to go see in Italy many years ago. And I said, yes, of course, how could I forget what a holy man he was? And Dr. Curran said to me, listen to this about what happened between Tom and I in the 1980s. Dr. Curran said that in the 1980s, he was talking to Tom Zimmer. And Tom Zimmer said to him, Claude, there's a man right now who I believe in the future is going to lead America back to God. You've said though that if you did run for president you believe you'd win. Well I don't know I think I'd win I tell you what I wouldn't go in to lose I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. No, <it> doesn't. <laughs> so Claudio said you know who is this you know who is this this guy and Tom Zimmer said the man who's going to in the future lead our country back to God is Donald J. Trump. And Dr. Curran said you mean the New York playboy like this is the guy and Tom Zimmer said, believe me, I have a premonition that, that this is the man who's going to do it in the future. So what Thomas did is at that time, John Paul II opened the holy doors of the Vatican of St. Peter's Basilica. And when he opened the holy doors uh, for that year, it was for the whole year, when the doors are ready to close, the Vatican allows people to donate bricks that go inside the door and you can put an inscription on the bricks of any intention you want. And those doors are closed and they're sealed. And they're not open until the next time the, the Vatican, the Pope decides to open the doors for another holy year. So uh, they, they're, they're shut sealed and all of the intentions that are on those bricks are prayed uh, during the holy sacrifice of the mass at the Vatican, at, at St. Peter's. All the masses that the Pope says, all the prayers that are prayed, are all for the intentions of the inscriptions that are on these bricks. Tom Zimmer, in the 1980s, donated a brick to be put in the holy door of the Vatican that said Donald J. Trump. And he did that because he wanted those masses in the Vatican to be said for him because he knew 
that in the future this man was going to be a great leader of America and bring Americans back to God. Here we go. This is a Fox News election alert. Pennsylvania goes to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. And look at just yesterday at his at Donald Trump's rally, his wife prayed the Allah Father in front of the whole crowd. It was just so moving and beautiful to hear a first lady pray the Allah Father. This premonition, I firmly believe that Tom Zimmer, this very holy hermit of Loretto, uh, a, a promise would happen, has been fulfilled. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.